Hi guys! In today's video I'm going to be showing you a really cute painting that I just finished that is going to be a little baby elephant that goes with my other baby animals that I have in this little series. So there's going to be a baby giraffe and a baby zebra that are in the description box below and there will be two more of these paintings coming up. So there's five in total and as they are uploaded I will post the links to them in the description box below so check back for those if you're watching this a little bit later on. I hope you guys like this one and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So to begin with, I already have my painting sketched out on my canvas, and I'm just going to start with painting the background of it light pink. Like I have mentioned in all these other videos that go with this one, um, the light pink is just because it is going in a little girl's room. However, if you're using this, the same painting, the elephant can be placed on any kind of background, so you can definitely switch that up if that's not what, if light pink isn't appropriate for you. So then I'm going to begin by painting the back, the little bit of back that shows, and then the, the back leg and the arms of the elephant. And I blended, to start with, the, all the color of my elephant, I blended some gray and some kind of like a taupey beige color together. The reason I didn't mix these off the canvas and then paint that color on that I liked for my elephant is because I wanted gradations of the color. I wanted some of it to be beige or more, some of it to be more beige and some of it to be more gray. So if you mix it kind of as you go on the canvas, you get these wonderful gradations that look very, very natural. So that's what I did. And I know that a lot of people say, you never want to mix paint on a canvas. I don't believe that. I believe that it's situational. Sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. This is a case where I like to. Then using a dark gray or like a charcoal color, I'm going to be painting all the little wrinkles on my baby elephant. Now, a lot of times you think of wrinkles on an older animal, I mean, older people, older animal, they get kind of more wrinkly. Not the case with elephants. They have this cracked, thick skin that always has these amazing wrinkles in it. So very wrinkly little baby. Then after you have all those wrinkles in place, go through and highlight some of the um, non-wrinkled areas, so the area between the wrinkles with little dabs of a lighter gray paint. So really light gray. And that will be that. So now you're gonna do the same thing over, um, starting with the ears. So I'm gonna be mixing those, the gray and the beige, adding some darker areas. And as I'm doing this, this first layer, I am adding quite a bit of detail in here. Depending on the style of painting, this first layer of paint actually would be sufficient if you're going for a softer a softer appearance. You wouldn't have to go through and add those cracks and those other details to your painting at all. You could leave it with this um, softer appearance. I personally, I have... I always think I over detail things. I kind of go crazy with adding fine little lines and a line here and a line there. But if you didn't want to, um, leaving it just at this stage would be plenty. There's definitely enough um, enough texture there enough uh, highlights and shadows and everything that you could leave it at this stage you wouldn't have to go any farther if you didn't want to i like to so that's where i'm going with this so do the one ear and then go ahead and you're going to need to do the other ear so i used the complete list of colors i used for the for the body and the ears um is a like a dolphin gray beige charcoal black and white just kind of go through and I just did like a section at a time. I am using acrylic paint which dries very very quickly so I had about uh, 20 minutes to, or less per ear that I actually had on this stage and if you try to do the whole thing um, as far as the dry time goes you're gonna drive yourself crazy. So do little sections at a time and blend them together. It's gonna just because you don't have enough time to add the detail before the paint dries. So then I'm going to be adding the color over the face. Same thing. I'm kind of doing it section by section, working my way down my elephant and going around the eyes. I absolutely love elephants. I have uh, drawn elephants several times with graphite. I think I've drawn, I say several, but I think I've drawn three and I just keep coming back to elephants and I've never painted one before. So a lot of the uh, ideas and the techniques I use for drawing an elephant, I, tr I tried to paint doing the same thing and it doesn't exactly work that way but I think it gave me a very good base on how to go with an elephant whereas uh I don't know for some reason just a little bit of a different weird mental thing with me is like, so it's like well you always you know you add your lines and sharpen they can kind of blend them out when you use um graphite or charcoal you can't do that with paint once you got a line down if it's a sharp line it's a sharp line you can't blend it out an hour later so anyways, um, you can't use your fingertips to just smooth things out either. I try. I do some weird, I do some weird things when I'm, when I'm painting. Anyways, after you have all of that first layer of paint done, as I said, you could leave it. Otherwise, go ahead with your darker charcoal color and add the little fine little wrinkles. The ears are much smoother than the rest of his skin, especially like on his, on his legs. There's a lot of wrinkles. Um, the only place that really has that... Uh, intense network of wrinkles on the ears is going to be right at the base where they attach to the skull and then the same thing on his face he doesn't he's not nearly as wrinkly on his face a little bit on the forehead and then uh, around the eyes some and then definitely on his trunk 
but not as much not as much in like like between the eyes and the forehead is so much so then go through and just keep adding details until you are satisfied with it. You can take that as far or as little as you like, and then take some light gray again and add some of those highlights on there, especially down the wrinkles on his nose or his trunk and around the eyes. Definitely add those lighter colors. You want that, you want him to look really, really bright and happy. You don't want it to be too dark. And then add the details of his eyes. So elephants have a very coppery tone iris. So make sure that you incorporate that. Uh, this elephant, as far as the other paintings I have in this little set, and um, the eyes themselves are pretty small because there's more of the elephant visible, just because the ears are so wide that the elephant's head comparatively is very, very small. So his eyes are, eyes are pretty small, but yeah, just go through the whole process, same as you would. Don't forget eyelash once you have all of those details done you are all set uh, please check out the other paintings in the series currently I have a giraffe and a zebra as well there will be more of them though there's five total um, so just keep checking back I'll be uploading them over the course of the next month or so I hope you like it check out my Facebook and Instagram for more of my art and I will see you in my next video bye